what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button i'm definitely trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday it's free to subscribe so go ahead and just hit the button real quick but anyway guys i want to talk to you guys about a ninety thousand dollar trd pro toyota tacoma so i just came across it on the fourth generation facebook page for the tacoma somebody paid ninety thousand dollars i guess it's the second one down in california but let's just talk about it is the trd pro even worth it should you even buy a trd pro or should you just buy a fourth generation tacoma and just build it up yourself because if you guys are new to the channel you guys can go through my old videos and you guys can see all the fourth generation tacoma builds that we've seen on the channel most of them and pretty much all of them have been spacer lifts but people are putting them on 35s we've seen them on 35s and we've seen them on 33s and they look really really good lifted okay and the trucks are already expensive as it is so i looked at one one that i could possibly get and i was going to be paying like seventy thousand dollars that was just going to be the price of the truck so that didn't have anything to do with i think that probably included that included the you know the, the handling and delivery process so it was going to be like seventy thousand dollars and you know we're in oregon so we don't have any sales tax but you got your registration and things like that but basically seventy thousand dollars and the most expensive TRD Pro, which I'll walk you guys down here and we'll kind of, we'll dive, we'll, we'll dive into the price of this one because this is a fully loaded one. So let's just wrap your head around $90,000. So I don't know, they obviously had some type of markup. So this is a fully loaded truck right here. This is going to be $53,000 for an off-road, almost uh, 54,000. I mean, they're just literally a hundred and, uh, shoot, $160 or something like that. Uh, yeah, like a hundred and, don't have me do the math, $155 away you know from um 54 000. but i spent way too long on that so i'll let you guys see all the options that this is going to have every single thing that you can get known to mankind so basically if you have that 8800 trd premium um off-road package you get everything the sunroof you're going to get a power lifting tailgate which you can always tell right here it'll be a little button here hopefully it's not open because it would hit that but yeah so it's going to be a five foot bed and like i said fifty four thousand. now typically if you're going to spend fifty four thousand dollars on one of these trucks uh dealerships could give you a few thousand dollars off possibly three thousand dollars off i would want at least three thousand or thirty five hundred bucks off of this maybe four thousand and just say hey 50 let's call it 50 but what i will say is this one is sold so we're starting to see more of these fully loaded ones show up but unfortunately they're not in any color so surprise it wasn't in underground and we've been seeing them in black white and in underground so fifty four thousand dollars basically for a fully loaded one and let's go back over here and check this out so yeah and then so so to to give you an, an idea so this is going to be 200 and 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque all right well the trd pro is going to be a hybrid which is going to get you 326 horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque and you're going to get the trd tuned exhaust and you're going to get basically like a trd cold air intake that you get on the pro and uh, so this is a pro right here but this is a 2023 so my truck was around i think it was around 51 i think i'm pretty sure the msrp it might even have been 50 but the highest msrp that i've seen for one of these and it was completely loaded it came with all the options from the port it was at like 55 so when you put it at like that if you put it at like 55 with everything on it coming from the port that's a little bit easier to to digest it being like sixty-seven thousand. so then they basically only went up ten thousand dollars so but even even at 55 even if you put it at 55 and like i told you it's going to be 70 so that's still there's no way around it it's still like fifteen thousand dollar difference so you know when i got this truck is the trd pro worth it um i really never really felt like this truck was like after this is my third tacoma and now i can honestly say other than it being a trd pro and holding having a little bit more value for as resale um with the third generation there's no difference between a trd off-road premium other than your suspension and some red stitching on your seats and it says trd pro and you're going to get the trd tuned exhaust and you're going to get the fox suspension all the way around you're going to get a camera so there are some things you're going to but basically like i said all those other options your camera you can get all that stuff on a premium uh third generation tacoma you could get the the, the led lights the only thing you're not going to get is like a trd pro stamp bed it's a lot of little stuff like that you know the fox suspension the wheels you're not going to get and you're not going to get the 360 camera but like i said you can get that with the premium so 
basically you're not going to get trd pro stamp stuff or just anything that says trd pro on your truck including the shift knob the skid plate and the seats so that's basically it and also this special color so i really wanted the color and also so you can't get these the stamp bed this all this stuff happened in 2022 so and you can't get those upper control arms so that was kind of one of those things where something that i wanted to have that was going to be different and it comes with the factory toyota heritage grill that's all you know oem and all original equipment and you get the trd on this side of the lights and pro on that side and you get the camera and like i mentioned the grill and then you also get the hood scoop so it's a lot of stuff and you get a decal you get a sunroof so you do get a lot of extra features which you know kind of people kind of take for granted and you get the power outlet you get bed lights which i added because you can get one without it so my truck came pretty stock that's why i was telling you i wasn't sure if it was 50 because i didn't have any added options i didn't even have the blacked out tacoma in the back it, it wasn't even blacked out i put that under myself so you know it's kind of like one of those things like this is the trd pro 4runner you know we'll just check a price right here and we'll kind of give you an idea so so for fifty-seven thousand dollars, basically we'll say fifty-eight thousand dollars, and I'll just take you over to one of these, hopefully like an off-road premium. So yeah, here's an off-road premium. So that was fifty-eight thousand dollars. So this is basically going to have everything, and it's sold. I'll let you guys see that. This is an off-road premium. You see, this one sold before that one, and let's look at the price difference. They don't even have it. They don't even have it. Is it open? They don't even have the price in here, but let's go see another one. This is going to be an SR5, so it's not going to be close, but it's still going to be premium. And you're looking at 50. So for eight more thousand dollars, you got all the Fox suspension and you got all the hood scoop and you got a bunch of different stuff. But basically, I don't think I just don't think it's really worth it. So back over here, we'll go back over here to this fully loaded. So. You know, I think one of these off-roads or sport looks just great. I mean, now we're talking about $70,000 and this one's just going to be 50. So for 20 more thousand dollars, you know, it's going to only take you a few thousand dollars to lift one of these things. You know, it'll take you for wheels and tires. Let's just say, let's just be, you're looking at around, let's just at the most, maybe 1500 bucks for your tires. And then another 1500 bucks, we'll just say. So that's $3,000 for wheels and tires. And then you could do like a little lift or something. So you could have a nice truck for $5,000. So for 55, you'd be pretty pretty much set. You'd be pretty much set on one of these Tacomas if you do all the stuff yourself. And then, so here's the other thing that I haven't talked about is the hybrid. So I was looking at some of the hybrids online. You can go online, you can build them out and they're gonna be showing up at the dealerships. Like I, one of the guys here mentioned that they should be showing up here soon. And you're gonna be looking at like, you could be looking at upwards of 60 for a fully loaded hybrid, $60,000, which is crazy. So like I said, that's another $10,000 for the horsepower and torque. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, you're gonna be paying upwards of, like I said, close to 60 for a fully loaded hybrid. And that'll be obviously with some options. So I just don't know at this point, like the pro is really, really nice. I just think that I'd rather almost buy one of these vehicles from a dealership that's already built like these guys have. And what we'll do is we'll go over here because this is the only one that they have built on a lot over here. And like I said, I like the horsepower. If you could tell the difference with the horsepower, like if you can get in it and you can feel more torque, uh, then that might be a reason to get the hybrid. But you just got to make sure that it's really worth getting the hybrid. Now, this is a 24. This one was a used one that I think the dealership decided just to go ahead and do a build on. But look how much this one is. So it's got 973 miles on it and it's $58,000, guys. So this one's $58,000 and it doesn't even have any options. It is a six foot bed. It doesn't have a power window. You're not going to get a power lifting tailgate, but you are going to get a really nice uh tires and stuff on this one what is what are we working with here because this is nice 285 75 17 so they're on the 285 75 17 and uh 
see like i said something like this is really really clean it looks good now the price for this one is way off as far as i'm concerned for fifty eight thousand fifty eight thousand dollars but i'll let you kind of see it here in the sun this is a 2024 and this is a sport but there's no way that i'm paying ninety thousand dollars for a trd pro i just don't think that that's a smart move to do i think if you want the horsepower and you want the torque i definitely look at trying to get you know one of the hybrids and just see you know what are the i just kind of glanced so i'm not sure because i know if i wanted the hybrid i would still want it to be basically fully loaded so i would definitely want it to be you know under 60 because for seven more thousand or six more thousand then you just get the pro but now you're looking at upwards of seventy thousand dollars for one of these trucks so yeah it just depends on how you add everything up but seventy thousand dollars is a lot and they want 58 for this one and it's not even a hybrid and you're only going to get 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque so and like i said i really want a pro but the one that i've been maybe trying to consider i would try to get is an all black one and i'm not sure if i really like all black but i do like the red seats that it's going to come with so it's going to be all black with the red seats i like that but for $70,000, like, I would just want to see more details of the truck. Like, I think I'd take white over black because at least then you could get the black roof. You get the black roof right up here, and then you get, like, the black accents. Accents. So, like, even on the back part of the truck, this part right here is just black when it's white. And when it's all black, like, everything is black, so you don't get it, like, it's not breaking up anything. So, but uh, that's going to do it, guys. So... I'm gonna try to get me a pro, you know, I would like to get one. I think I would definitely like a pro over over the uh, over the trail hunter, but we're just gonna have to see, you know, we're just really gonna have to see how these things drive. That's gonna be my tail sign. It's test driving one. And also, you know, when I'm gonna be ready financially. So it could take, it could take a little bit of time, you know, before I pull the trigger, which is fine with me because that's going to give me a little bit of, um, or it's going to give Toyota some of time so we can see, we can see some of these other colors. We can see what the new color is going to be. So I already know what the color for 2025 is going to be mud bath. So it's going to be like another brown. So it's not so much of the clay pot color, but it'll be more of a brown, like a mud bath, literally, right? So it'll be interesting to see what other colors they have coming after that one, like what the color will be for 2026. And then by that time, it'll be like two years of these trucks have been out. So all the bugs should be worked out. But yeah, the fully loaded ones have been showing up more. Now we're just waiting on colors to start showing up. You know, better colors like supersonic red and bronze oxide and uh, solar octane and blue crush. Even celestial silver. So yeah, I think these prices have just gotten out of control a little bit, you know. Because like I said, at 55 and then if you just... If you just move it to 65, it doesn't sound as bad, you know, because I have seen them for 65, 66. So if you could get one for 67, then you're only looking at like a $10,000 increase if you compared it to, you know, one of these fully loaded ones down here in Solar Octane. Like I said, the most expensive one that I've seen and it, like it had everything on it. So it was $55,000 brand new. So that's kind of why I feel like I could get 51, 52 for this because all that other stuff was just added on crap from the port. A bunch of stuff that you can get from any Toyota dealership, a bunch of, you know, for any generation truck, you know, they had tunnel covers, they had roof racks, you know, they had the $500 bed step, stuff that the dealership's not gonna care about when you trade it in. But overall, I think the Pro is nice. I think it's nice to get a Pro because it is a Pro. It's different than a regular Tacoma, but it's just up to you depending on you know depending on what you're going to be using your truck for and uh you know just how it looks so i know one thing that looks just kind of weird is seeing the pro with those big wide fender flares and then the wheels the tires just don't seem to be they don't seem to be as wide you know because the fender flares are so wide like i would wonder you know sure. how does everything sure, work the with the axe sure, i promise you i'm a good driver <laughs> So I wonder what um, happens with, uh, you know, how everything works when you put bigger wheels and tires on it. 
how it looks because like i said it just kind of looks you know it's how you see a stock trd pro one of these guys and it's really not much to really look at like it looks a lot better with these wheels and tires on than it did with just a black regular goodyear wrangler tires so i would like to see if you know if you do put a different offset of wheels and tires on the pro are you going to have to worry about those upper control arms because when you see the videos it really doesn't look like there's a lot of room to put wheels on the pro but i think it kind of looks like that with all the tacomas and people are, have been able to put you know 35s and uh put 35s on these things without a problem so let's just kind of go look at that front end the wheel well because i know they do it all the time but let's just look and see if it looks like how like back here on the pro it just looks because just how the body design is it just doesn't look like it's even that much room but that's gonna do it guys thanks for checking out the channel we'll finish up down here so yeah if you really want a pro i mean people are paying msrp so like i said the ninety thousand dollars was for somebody down in california obviously so i'm thinking that they probably paid like a ten thousand dollar markup because you know they got taxed down there so if they paid 70 for the truck and then got hit with ten thousand dollars worth of taxes and then maybe a ten thousand dollar markup or give or take that could be that so but yeah no way i'm paying ninety thousand even seventy thousand dollars is a stretch but that's where we're at with these trucks so thanks a lot for checking out the channel you guys have a good day and god bless and uh the pro is nice they're they're different they're different you know it's not the same truck because it comes with everything on it already so what do you guys think should you just get a pro or get a hybrid are you happy with just a regular four cylinder or maybe you're not even happy with the four cylinder you're going to stick with the third generation tacoma and get you one of these pros because um, these are still going for 53 54 you could still find them for 55 but you know fifty thousand dollars still for one of these but uh thanks a lot have a good day and god bless we out peace